Okay, so for day two, or lesson two of polynomials, we're going to be focusing more on some multiplying of them. So we did a little bit of multiplying on the first lesson. Again, this should be ideally uh, not new to you, but just kind of shaking off some of that rust, but using a lot of your distributive property and combining like terms, and definitely talking about the vocabulary, because the vocabulary will mean things as we work through the algebra portions of things, and the algebra two next year even more so. So let's do this uh, kind of warm up here. We started this yesterday, and we didn't just start this yesterday. You've been doing this type of work before. <clears throat> we just happen to now throw in a little bit of the vocab with it. Distribute the negative 2 thirds, x times that. So back to fractions. Negative 2 thirds times negative 6. That gives me 12 over 3, which is 4x to the third. And negative 2 thirds times 2. So that's a negative not four, sorry. Yeah, that was right. Negative four thirds, sorry. X to the second. Cubic and binomial because of two terms. Coefficient of the cubic term is four. Quadratic term is negative four thirds. Linear term, there is none, or you could say zero. And the constant term is either none or zero. All right, <clears throat> simplify in names. Let's take what we've been doing before and do a bunch of kind of work with that, and we'll get into some new things with that. So on uh, letter A, simplify first. So do your order of operations. Negative 2G in parentheses to the second goes back to your geometry. Square each one gives me a positive 4G squared. 8g to the second divided by 2g. 8 divided by 2 is 4. g to the second divided by g to the first. Remember back to your exponent rules. I can cancel out a g and left with b a 4g. All you're doing is subtracting those. And then distribute. And now combine like terms to put it into standard form. 4g squared plus 4g squared. 8g squared, 4g minus g is 3g. Uh, so what is that? A quadratic binomial. All right, so that's when we are simplifying and just having to distribute what we call as a monomial, one term times two terms as a binomial. Now what we really want to get into, and this is what factoring is going to be doing this for, as we get into that, uh, factoring is probably going to be around end of October, November, in preparation for some December work, is continuing with distributing. But for those of you that might have been coming through a different class back in the eighth grade, um, <clears throat> seeing this already before, you might have heard this called as FOIL. If you have, great. FOIL is okay. I don't care for it because I'll talk about why I don't care for it in a little bit. It, FOIL stands for first, uh, outer, inner, and last. So if you've seen FOIL before, great. If you haven't, who cares too? Because what I just showed here with my arrows is I am going to just distribute. That's what FOIL does. It's just multiplying. I'm going to take 2y times 1y to get 2y squared. I'm going to take 2y times 2. And then I come around and distribute the negative 3 negative 3y, and then minus 6. So what I mean by FOILs then is this is the first, these are the outer terms, these are the inner terms, and these are the last terms. Okay, fine. It's just a little nice mnemonic device, but it does not work all the time. Who cares? Just distribute. Put it into standard form then, 2y squared. Linear terms combined to give you 1y minus 6. And this is a quadratic trinomial okay um okay so let's just go ahead and i change your c and g okay let's just go ahead and distribute p to the fifth times p to the fifth p to the fifth times eight now we distribute the negative eight negative eight p to the fifth minus 64 Combine like terms to put in standard form for, again, p to the 10th. And what happens right here? 
8p to the fifth minus 8p to the fifth. They cancel out, so they are gone. So we end up with p to the tenth minus 64. This is a tenth degree binomial. Okay, continue on. That's about as rough as it's going to get. Let's distribute. Distribute that 3x. 6x squared minus 6x minus 6x plus 6. Standard form, 6x squared. Watch it right here. They do combine. They do not, or they combine, but they do not cancel. And we end up with another quadratic, in this case, trinomial. Okay, 2x plus 5 times 2x minus 5. 4x squared minus 10x plus 10x minus 25. Put it in standard form. These do uh, cancel out this time. And we end up with a quadratic binomial. Okay, keep going here. Oops, I'm at the state of five. 2x cubed times 2x cubed, 4x to the six, minus 10x to the third. Now distribute the five. Put it in a standard form, 4x to the six. Those will cancel this time. And we end up with the six degree uh, binomial, two terms. Now, after that, they just kind of start combining everything together. So if you got two binomials together, that's what we're going to do. But on letter G now, okay. Now we just kind of combine everything together and just keep following your order of operations. I'm going to take this negative 2G squared, distribute that first. Um, so what is that? Negative 6G to the fifth minus 12G to the third. And now I'm going to distribute here. I'm going to get, what, 2g to the second uh, plus 4g minus 3g minus 6. And once those parentheses are gone, let's put it into standard form. Largest exponent is 6g to the fifth, negative 6g to the fifth, so that's not going to go anywhere. Uh, then I have a cubic. Then I have a quadratic. Looks like I have two linears that combine together to give me just 1g and then minus 6. So then we put it together for our standard form and name it. This is a fifth degree, or sometimes called a quintic. Uh, how many terms? Five terms. So fifth degree, five term polynomial. All right, letter H. Oof, letter H. Now here, I like to fill this one in here because now we're in this habit of multiplying and then all of a sudden, I always catch a lot of kids off guard, and they start doing this. Start multiplying all the way over here. We do not have multiplication in between there. We have addition. So you're going to distribute, but whatever's right in front of each parenthesis. Okay, well, there's a 1 there, and there's a 1 there. So this is going back to what we did yesterday with adding uh, polynomials. Now, positive 1 does not change anything. We know that. Now that parentheses are gone, I can put it into standard form. But watch what's in between there. Is it actually multiplying? Or in this case, it's just adding. All right, uh, standard form. 2 and 9 leads it off, so those are x cubes. So it looks like I get, what, 11x cubed, 17x squared, and 13x. This is a cubic trinomial. Okay. Okay. All right, let's continue on here with these last two. Now, when we square something, okay, it means to multiply by itself. And the usual thing with this problem is a lot of students are going to jump right here, call it a day, and say it's a quadratic binomial. Usually that's what a lot of kids will do for the shortcut, but it does not work. To square something means multiply it by itself. So take a second, expand it out. Put this in, in expanded form, and now distribute. And if this, your shortcut worked, we should get the same answer. But what I find out is we do not get the same answer. 
and that shortcut does not work, that we, whoops, I read that as a four, we get that linear term of 22y up here. So this is what a lot of students will do is a um, wrong way. It almost works, but you're forgetting that new term each time. So on letter M, first thing again I want you to do is expand it out. And then just keep distributing, just keep distributing, just keep distributing. All right. And then in standard form, is a quadratic trinomial.